All right, another shipment from Mattel, another thing that has been found in stores by many of you, including I think a few of you on the East Coast who have told me that it's already sitting on the shelves. Well, whether it is or not, I guess a lot of these diorama sets do before they're eventually all bought up. This is the new diorama set, uh, the pickup truck set, two per case. This is what Mattel sent me. So we're going to go ahead and dig into the set. What's cool is I saw the preview pictures, but this is how I saw it. I saw, oh, cool, there's a Moon Eyes truck. And then I saw, well, obviously that's the 62 Custom Chevy. And then there's the Little Red Express truck. And then the uh, Texas Drive. And I was like, oh, nice selection of trucks. But I didn't get to see them from the side. And now that I have, well, I haven't even really opened it yet. I'm like, dang, this is a really, really nice set. So Mattel sent me the, uh, the two packs. And this, and as much as I like the two packs and the Nismo Skylines and stuff like that, I'm really digging this set and I can't wait to open it up. So let's just look at the box here. There's the back. Let's see, you can see just some really cool decos, but let's get those uh, in person. Let's see if you want those looking for it. Uh, there's that, right? Um, background on this set, I'm trying to do this with one hand. It's kind of cool. Is that the, what the beach? Must be the beach, maybe Florida. I would think that, maybe Hawaii. Doesn't look California to me, maybe, but maybe, I don't know. Nonetheless, pretty cool set. We're gonna open it up. So let's just cut away. And uh, I mean, do I need to show you it out of the box? I just need to show you the models, right? Let's just do it. All right, I was opening these up and I'm here in thunder. So let's see how far I can get before the rain starts coming down. Is that risking it? Might be, but let's just get right to it. Models are open. We've got to start with the truck, right? This is the uh, the Horizon hauler in Moon Eyes Deco. So the this in this particular case, the hauler by itself is its own thing, right? No Moon Eyes cars. It's not a Moon Eyes theme. You can take this and go start throwing Moon Eyes cars on this one by one by one, which I'm pretty stoked about. I think that's kind of a cool way they did it. Oh, that was lightning. Thunder's coming. Um, is really kind of cool. So we're going to put that down. Hear that? All right, <laughs> let's get right to the 62 Chevy pickup. Here it is right here, Hot Wheels Surf Club. So obviously surfing is the theme here, which I think is cool. And I had to, when I did the, um, the Ford RLC truck, I mentioned that the one truck I would love to see get that RLC treatment is the 62 Custom Chevy. So I actually pulled out all of them. We'll walk through them real quickly. It's been in premium for a while. Actually, before I even go to premium, it started in basic. I had to pull out this one because this is one of the first editions. It wasn't the actual one. It was one of the recolors. And I still think this is one of the coolest basic models that Hot Wheels ever did. In black with the black uh, five spokes or is that five spokes on it? Um, they had the surfboard piece here. And this casting, since it's been in basic, has been modified. It now has a sunroof, which makes no sense. They took the surfboard away and modeled it, molded it into the bed. Um, even the, uh, headlight piece, which is part of the base. So you got that break that's gone. So I don't even collect that casting. I have this version in basic, but then there's been enough nice premium versions since that I've just gone with that. So from a few years ago, slick rides, I think was the set we had two in from in Holly deco. We had this red version with the black surfboard. I love the two tone colors on this one. And this casting and this vehicle in general is really conducive to that two tone look, right? Such a cool look. I love the slammed look of this truck. The blue version version was harder to find and it's a much more, I mean, they're both expensive, but the blue and gray was uh, by far the, uh, I'm looking at the thunder, I'm waiting for the rain, uh, was, <laughs> was the hardest to get. And uh, yeah, it's very expensive on eBay. Easiest one to get, one of the easiest ones to get is this Trix version. It's still not cheap now. I actually had this in those, remember those bins full of loose cars? This one was sitting in there. It actually survived pretty well but I had to bring that one out. That one looks cool in the Trix Deco green and red. I mean, my least favorite, but I'm keeping all the premiums. The best of the premiums remains the car culture trucks, shop trucks, right? Was that the uh, set? This Zamac version and champion livery with the red surfboard, black roof. It'll never be beat. Although this new surf version is pretty cool. So I really, really like that one. We did get a convention version in the 76 Deco Maddie's garage, which is really cool always like that one um moon eyes deco on it too i'm just kind of letting it go here comes the rain 
And then we had the Boulevard version. Let's see how fast I can go, which was nice and clean as well. I really like the rims on this one. You just go through them. You can see this truck is fantastic. And now we have finally showing you the right, the right one. This is from the set. Hot Wheels Surf Club. Nice and clean. Love the checkered roof. Has a cool surf motif to it. Love the Moon Eyes disc rims on this one. It just looks awesome. I even like um, the way they kind of colored. I know they did this interior. Some people might want the chrome, but I actually like this color that they did in the bed and in the interior and on the front. It's a little different from the others. And I think that one looks really, really cool. So this one is definitely a winner. More thunder coming. All right, let's move on to the Dodge Little Red Express. Now, this one also started as a basic. I think it was a treasure hunt last year. I'm going to show you. The Little Red Express was a souped up Dodge truck that was done as like it had a it had a larger engine. It was faster, kind of done for speed and performance. And it was only done in this red color. Um, I think you can find them. They're still somewhat rare now these days, but they're kind of a collector truck. And this one was done for the 50th anniversary. We did see a brief version with the shell. They've kind of used this truck as much as they can, more in a Dodge look. And now what's kind of cool is Dodge did do the Midnight Express truck. I think after the Little Red Express, and the Midnight Express was much more rare, only 200 made, I believe. And this one is awesome because you see there's the wood paneling in the bed and the wood paneling on the side, which was a look for this one. Little Red Express had it too, but they didn't put that in the casting. So this is legit. The Midnight Express is a real truck and getting this one in the set, I think is phenomenal. And it's gonna be one of the, uh, one of the little gems in this set. So I think that one is really, really cool. Uh, let's get to the Texas driving because I'm fighting rain, right? I did the Texas driving. I showed it when I did the RLC because the t Texas driving has been a lot in convention. There's been some other premium. I only have two premium from the holiday set from a few years ago, this blue version, which is, they're both kind of hard to find now. Texas drive them is a, um, it's a Ford truck. If you look at the bed here, I can show you. Oh my gosh, I think hail's gonna start coming. And then anyway, let's get to it. And there's the uh, red version. I gotta clean this up. Yep, it's coming down and it's coming down fast. So I'm gonna walk you through this one while I start cleaning up. I gotta stop. So it's the next day, the whole setup is gone. You can imagine the frenzy. Well, I don't know if you can. When I said I gotta go, the hailstorm that just covered our house started happening. I had all those cool cars out from both the uh, two-pack, the Target two-pack video I filmed, and then all of the other cars. You can imagine some of the value of some of those. Just getting covered in hail and rain, it was nuts. My daughter ran out. We started just packing up everything as quickly as we could. But let me see if I can finish where we were. We already looked at those two. And I think I was starting to show this. But this has never been in, in uh, car culture or anything like it, which was surprising to me because this has been a popular casting. I mentioned that it is a Ford, even though it's called the Texas Drive, but there is there on the tailgate. Um, and this is a fantastic version. It's a casting that is hard to to collect now only because a lot of them are super expensive. There's some that I don't have, but um, in terms of premium, it's nice to see this one here. So really cool color combination here. I really like the stripes. It's not necessarily a stock looking version, but considering the decoration on all three of these trucks, this is very, very cool. And I love the color combination on this one. Love the white rims, they really fit. Um, love that kind of rust color and then this, uh, this color combination of white, yellow, orange, and brown. I just think it is fantastic. What a cool model. I don't know which one I like the best. I really like the Texas Driving because I've always liked that casting. I really like that era of Ford truck. The 62 Chevy, I'm advocating for this one to hit the RLC. I hope one day it does. This is a nice, clean version. Um, love the checkered roof, everything else about that one. Love the wheels on this one. It's a casting that I'm a big fan of. I think my winner, though, might be this one. Only because it's a real truck. The Midnight Express was a rare Dodge truck. It's a perfect companion to the little, little Red Express truck. And kind of a nice addition to, uh, you know, just a nice contribution to this set. And a really cool classic truck that I think makes perfect sense being done this way. And I'm glad that we have both of these in premium and I just love the way they did this one. So that may be my favorite. You tell me in my very depleted 
setup here. You tell me which one you like. This set is obviously in stores now. Don't sleep on it. It's a great, great set. I think you'll be happy you had it. These Hot Wheels vintage trucks are just worth collecting. Thanks, everybody. Bye.